Love and God, love and divine essence are exactly the same. And they are unconditional. You have to have the same love for God or for this divine essence that it has always had for you. Through the worst of your days, through the lowest points in your life, this love has always been there. It's available to you. You could take it at any time. It's never, you're never turned away. And it's a supply that's inexhaustible. You can't exhaust it. You can't make it go away. It is there. So, there is a power in unconditional love that is very difficult for most of us to grasp. I don't know if you've ever been around a being who lives and experiences unconditional love. But when you are, you discover that the energy that they radiate is infectious. Like being in a room with Mother Teresa. Just being in her presence. They said of Jesus, they said of Buddha, that when they would go into a village, just their presence in the village. Nothing more. Just their presence in the village would change the consciousness of those around them. From the perspective of having this divinity within you, which is a love for what is going to manifest, what happens when you start picturing your world this way is that your life starts to change. What changes is you feel more peaceful. Love and peace, unconditional love and peace, really go hand in hand. And when you get this quality, and what I suggest to you here is that in order to practice this, to understand that you sleep better, you eat better, you automatically begin to take better care of your body. Toxins are no longer that important to you. Exercise becomes something that you just absolutely do because you're treating your body with unconditional love. And it demands that. It encourages that. It wants that. It doesn't want to be dreary. It doesn't want to be overweight. It doesn't want to be drugged up. It doesn't want to be lethargic. It wants to be flowing. Because the universal energy that makes the whole thing work flows. It doesn't stop. That energy isn't stopping. It's not stagnant. It's a flowing. When you start doing these things and these changes start taking place, what happens is also the prosperity that you thought you couldn't have also begins to flow. You've stopped all blockages. And while this just sounds like, oh yeah, but I don't, I, I don't have to do anything, you will do something. You will act upon this unconditional love. It's like go on a program for three days. Make a three-day program in which you are going to communicate with your spouse, your lover, one of your children, a friend, a co-worker, a boss, someone that you are close to. And every thought that you are going to have directed at that person is going to be one of unconditional love. No matter how crappy they may act, no matter how much complaining they may do, no matter how much you find them to be irritating or whatever, you are going to respond with unconditional love. Not gushy, oh, isn't that great, you're throwing up on me again. Not, <laughs> not, not that at all. But just the thought, the absence of judgment, the absence of anger, the absence of the ego demand that says, you know, you should really be like I am. You're wrong and I'm right. You just let go of that. Try it for three days. A three-day program of unconditional love. And watch what happens to your energy level. And watch what happens to the things that you want to manifest in your life. And begin to notice how you're sleeping and what the content of your dreams are. And notice how other people begin to treat you. You see, unconditional love is joy and it's also power. There's an enormous power, but it's not the power that is an investment in having power over others. It's a power of being able to tune in finally to the thing that makes the whole universe work. What do you think keeps this whole planet from falling off into an abyss? What do you think it is that keeps your, your uh, shoulder uh, from falling off? <laughs> what do you think it is that keeps the cells of your eyeballs in their sockets? There's a force, there's an energy, there's something that is working that keeps everything in place, that makes it all work, that makes it all flow. You finally begin to tune into that. You start to trust your nature more than you trust your intellect, which is your ego. Your nature knows 
how to work. It knows how to make your body work. Your nature knows exactly how many nutrients to send to all the different organs of the body. You don't have to think about that every time you eat something. It's working. Your nature knows how much oxygen to take in and how much to let out. You don't need a formula for that. Your intellect says, that water there can't possibly be made up of two parts of hydrogen and one part of oxygen. Those are gases. Your intellect says, there's no way. But nevertheless, it is, isn't it, as we examine it. So, your nature works perfectly in perfect harmony, as does everything else that keeps the oceans from tilting on the side and, and having tidal waves. This nature of yours that you are in, that is in you, that you are not separate from, is flowing. It's perfect. It's unconditional. It doesn't judge. It doesn't ask anything. Be that. And the rest of this will fall right into place. It's astounding how powerful this unconditional love is. 